Hi there, welcome or welcome back to the Accountable Marketing website. My name is Michiel van der Watering and I'm working on the accountability of marketing since the beginning of the century. In this short video I would like to introduce to you the four main reasons why the accountability of marketing has become so important. If you leave your name and email address down below, I'll be happy to send you the e-paper with all the information. Let's start with the first reason. We have learned a lot from direct marketing and internet marketing. For instance, if you're using coupons in a direct marketing activity and you measure all the coupons that return, you're able to calculate the redemption rate. So you know more about the results uh, and the success of your direct mailing. If you look at the internet, you know that all the clicks that people make on your website are shown in the Google statistics or the Google analytics that you're using to see what the web traffic on your website is doing. And if you have a radio commercial or television commercial, it's easy to put your uh, broadcast schedule next to your web uh, statistics. And if you see that the web statistics show more visitors during those uh, uh, those broadcasts, you know that the broadcasts have made people uh, decide to go to your website. Quite easy to understand. Second reason why accountability of marketing became so important is that we marketeers would like to be in charge or get back in charge of our marketing budget. In other words, we want to be seen in the boardroom again. Maybe you in, have it in your own company as well. By the end of the year, people make their new marketing plans. And somehow there is not a very clear connection between the business goals and the marketing plan. And the marketing budget gets an okay from the management. And so you start in the new year with your plan, executing your plan, uh, doing your campaigns, etc. But somewhere in, let's say, March, April, there are some setbacks in the company and management decides to cut budgets. And the first department to lose their budget most of the time is marketing. Maybe that counts for your company as well. And people don't, and marketers don't want it anymore. They want to, to tell the management, you can cut budgets, but you will lose business. So the third reason why the accountability of marketing became so important is that the uh, marketing automation has become much more mature. This helps marketeers to plan their campaigns, to calculate the return on investment of their campaigns, and they don't have to bother about all these systems, and the systems have become much better for marketeers than they were uh, in the beginning. You can have more information on this if you look at uh, the Gartner.com website, because they do a lot of research in the, uh, uh, yeah, in the marketing automation and sales automation systems there. Are. Maybe in your company as well, marketing and ICT don't get along uh, very well a lot, of, a lot and it most of the time gives a headache to the senior management. Like ICT does some projects which takes too long and marketers always want to have something today which they are thinking of, about tomorrow. So there, sometimes there is a bit of a fight between ICT and marketing department. But nowadays we see a lot of programs either built in-house or software as a service on the internet or maybe a web-based program which enables marketeers to become much more accountable. Even for the smaller companies, those systems are available. And the fourth reason why accountability of marketing became so important might be the crisis. Or maybe we shouldn't call it a crisis anymore, but more a new way of working or a new way of living. And the crisis helped us to understand that even marketing has to show what the return on their investment is. It's quite strange maybe that um, the director of operations has to make a business case together with the financial manager to see whether it's a good plan to buy some new machinery or not. Whereas the marketing manager can decide to have a new campaign or a complete new logo or a new branding strategy um, and nobody asks questions about the current campaign or the current commercials that we have on the television. So they make a new campaign and then it's okay. So the crisis learned us that we need to know where all the euros are going or the dollars are going or the euros are going and we need to know what the return on investment is. So I hope you understand what the importance is of the accountability of marketing 
Um, the other hand is this four reasons they support the accountability of marketing. And there's also one main reason I would like to share with you why uh, people tell me accountability is not a very good idea because they tell me, Michiel, it will kill the creativity in your company, in your marketing especially. And I can disagree more than uh, that because I just think that creativity will rise, it will be increased because of accountability. For a simple reason, if you're not accountable, you're just running your campaigns and you have not a clue whether they are okay or not or why they are working or why they are not working. But if you look at your campaigns and you see that several segments are doing fine, so you're accountable on it, and other segments are not responding to your, uh, to your campaigns, you have to make up some other campaigns instead of running a campaign over and over again. So it will increase creativity to make other campaigns, especially made for special segments in your, uh, in your customer base. For now, I would like to thank you very much for watching this video. Please remind to leave your name and uh, email address down below and I will send you the e-paper with all the information. And hope to see you again at the accountablemarketing.expert and help, to, help you to get accountable too.